Hey Tom, I was over in the applications lab and I found this strain gauge. It's kind of a, an odd looking gauge. What can you tell me about it? Well, Daryl, this is our EGP series of gauges. It's designed for embedment into concrete structures. These days, a lot of new structures are called smart structures. They're embedding strain gauges and sensors into them to monitor the health of the structure. This gauge is designed so that it mimics 3,500 PSI concrete or 3,500 PSI so concrete. So when you say that, you mean the outside, the... The material that it's made of, so that when you embed it in the concrete, it doesn't change the characteristics oh, when you embed okay. it. If you've got a certain amount of stress going through the concrete, this will equally match that. It's got a surface that's got little divots in it, and that allows it to grab hold of the concrete once it's cured. Okay. And then once this is in place, they can monitor as they build the building on top of it, how much dead weight is adding to the structure or the stress in the concrete, and whether or not they're gonna have a successful building or not. Now, is it a 120 or 350 ohm or? We make them in both 120 ohm and 350 ohm, and the gauge length is described as about five inches okay. because it, it averages over that entire length. And is it a quarter bridge, a half bridge, or is it a full bridge? In this case, it's a quarter bridge. We put a quarter bridge because if it were a half bridge or a full bridge, you'd have more than one uh, contributing uh, gauge to it. Okay. And you wouldn't know exactly, unless you knew the Poisson's ratio of your material and other factors about it, what your strain is. So a quarter bridge is the best way to go. You might orient it differently in the concrete to measure the strains in different directions. Okay. Yeah, and I, I found this too. This is a looks like a, a sample that's got one of these embedment gauges uh, cast into it, and you can see sort of that texture and how well that concrete has uh, sort of surrounded that polymer you were talking about, and it's kind of become uh, one that's in there. So there you can kind of see what it looks like inside of the concrete. That would be what it would look like, but you would be completely embedded in the concrete. You would never leave a hole. Of course. So that's our embedment strain gauges. Go bond one. All right, thanks.